Here's why I think 2023 could be a year of huge bamboo growth. So I like to grow lots of types of bamboo. I grow the clumping bamboos like the barindas and the fagesias and I grow the ones that spread about quite a bit like the phyllostachys bamboos as well. And now we're into May into June, we've got lots of growth on our bamboos because most of them do a big flush of growth once a year in spring or in summer. And in the case of Phyllostachys bamboos, which can quite often be the largest bamboos we can grow in the Northern Hemisphere, in temperate locations at least, they put on their growth sort of June into July here. And that is when we get the big culms coming out of the ground shooting for the sky and they do it in a matter of weeks so you can literally see the growth every morning if you come into your garden you'll see it might have grown several centimeters overnight it's quite amazing how fast it can grow once once start growing not all bamboos do their quick growth in june and july we've had some already shooting earlier in the season so we've had the Fagesias and they've been shooting as early as March and April and in full growth into May and we've got the Berindas as well so I've got a Berinda 1046 bamboo and that's starting to shoot now in May and it's been a cool start to the year so everything's a little bit behind generally but the bamboos are pretty much sticking to plan and shooting at the right sort of times that they normally shoot. Now the Phyllostachys bamboos, like the few that are behind me here, most of them haven't started shooting yet, but they will do over the next month or two. And I think this year we'll see potentially huge culms come out of the ground and we can see some big thick canes on certain species in certain locations. And here's why I think that the bamboos like the Phyllostachys behind me will grow absolutely huge this year. And that is because of 2022. 2022 was one of the hottest years on record, here in the UK at least, and it was warm and sunny for such a long, long time, which means the bamboo plants, the Phyllostachys, which likes the, the heat, had a longer growing season, a longer season for storing energy to bulk up the underground rhizomes. And it's those rhizomes that are storing energy throughout the summer and autumn months that will shoot through the ground while the canes, the culms will come from those rhizomes the following year. This is the following year, this is 2023, and we should see absolutely huge growth on these bamboos if they were well watered in 2022 and they're of a suitable age and if they were fed well. There's quite a few ifs there. If you look after your bamboo plants and you feed them and you water them religiously, then because of all the extra heat and sunlight you had last year, we should see absolutely huge canes bursting through the ground over the next few weeks. Definitely June and July, we should see the biggest canes we've seen for many years on most Phyllostachys plants. And the last time we had a really, really hot, sunny year was 2003, when we had a, quite a long drought, but if plants were watered that year, the following year we had really good growth on Phyllostachys bamboos. And another thing that happened was that they ran quite a lot. So we often say Phyllostachys um, can be called clumping bamboos in some some well some people do anyway although they really are runners but they can be quite well behaved especially in the uk where we don't normally get really long hot summers and a lot of us have quite heavy clay soil as well and they can act as a clump for many years and then sometimes if it's really dry for a long time really warm they can send out runners quite far this happens when we've had a really hot years so the following years you might find you've got your Phyllostachys bamboo running quite a long way. And I know this uh, from first-hand experience from uh, 20, 2003 to 2004, where Phyllostachys nigra was well behaved in a garden close to me. And then the next year, it was dotted about of quite a large area, so several meters away from the main plant. And that is because of that long, warm summer we had in 2003. 
So there's two things to think about here. We should hopefully get huge growth over the next few weeks and months, but we might find our relatively well-behaved the stack is, might start creeping about and sending out runners quite a long way across the garden. So that's something to be mindful of and something to be checking your garden, see if there are bamboos coming out in different places that they're not normally seen. I've noticed so far this year that my Barindas seem to have really sized up this year and also the Fargesias are doing really, really well as well. I've also got a Chuskea, not Chuskea Gigantia because they set seed five six years ago although I have got lots and lots of ceilings of Chuskea Gigantia but we've also got Chuskea Kalu over here and this one is growing phenomenally well this year. It's got some nice thick canes and that is a consequence of the really good long growing season last year and obviously the plants age and matured now as well. So with maturity, it means it has that energy source to push out bigger and bigger culms. I mean, there's a maximum that all these plants can grow to in terms of the thickness of the culms and the height of the plants, but it can take five, 10, 20 years, maybe longer in some cases to get to absolute maximum potential for huge growth. But if you've had bamboos in the garden, for five, ten years and they've been growing steadily, we might see this year they grow supercharged, much bigger than normal, much thicker canes than normal and potentially taller and spread out further in the garden. So if you are growing Phyllostachys, take a note of how they're growing, leave some comments below on if you've seen the first shoots and how thick they are, are you seeing more, are you seeing thicker canes, culms coming out of the ground, or are you seeing just normal growth? They're really interesting to see. So my prediction is that by the stack of bamboos that have been well sort of looked after in 2022 in terms of feed and watering should grow absolutely huge this year in 2023.